Uh, the Copenhagen major, the first major of 2024 and CS2, a major many of us thought going into it would be the easiest diamond coin we could ever get, but boy were we wrong. The major was full of surprises beginning with FaZe Clan in the elimination stage, starting out losing two quick games and then going on to compete in the grand final. FaZe, Na'Vi, this is our first major grand final of Counter-Strike 2. We also saw Donk for the first time, the next CS Prodigy, and Team Spirit dominating the competition up until the previously mentioned FaZe Clan knocks him out of contention. It's massive! Nine seconds though, it can still go wrong! Zontix down! Five seconds! Kill it. Oh, and finally, teams that normally play pretty well, like Furia, completely wreck everyone else's pickums. I don't claim to be a CS2 genius, nor do I follow the scene religiously, but I know a good roster when I see one, and I know that I am not alone in saying, if you got the diamond coin this year, you know absolutely nothing about CS. With that being said, and the major finally being over and having Na'Vi as your major champions, the question is, what packages should you buy? The question is a fairly complex one, as it all depends on what you want to do with the packages. Do you want to sell them, or do you want to open them? Now, none of what I'm about to say is investment advice, but it is what I am currently doing myself as I see it as the best way to make money on these packages going forward, making my losses, if any, very, very minimal. The first thing you should look at when purchasing a package is the map that it is from. There are currently seven maps in the map pool that were played on during the Copenhagen Major. What you see on the screen are the best skins you can get in each collection and prices of each skin if sold today in factory new condition. Now that you know what you're hunting for, if you decide to open these packages, a covert skin is a 1 in 4,000 chance by the way, let's talk about the teams you want to see on these specific weapons. This is where it might get a little confusing. For example, the team Lin Gaming did not do very well in the Major, but maybe I am a huge fan of their roster, or believe in their future to do better the next time they appear in a Major. If that was the case, I'd simply just buy packages from games they played no matter who the opponent is. That is example 1. Buy packages based off of teams you support. Example 2 is you choose packages from the team that won the entire major and the maps with the most expensive skins in their collections. In this case, I'd probably pick a game like this, Navi vs Eternal Fire on Mirage. Since Navi won the major and the Mirage collection has some very expensive skins in it, I would buy or claim a package from this game. Example 3. Choose teams that have been in the scene for a long time, that have some great players on their roster, that have historically done well in these tournaments and will continue to do well in future tournaments. Teams like FaZe Clan, Complexity, G2, Virtus Pro, and Vitality. And finally, you want to search for those underdog, rarely picked packages. These packages, due to the teams in them, could be a high commodity in the future, as you as well as I don't know what will happen to some of these teams we have seen in this major. Will they continue to appear in future majors? Maybe a very good player will be added to the team between now and the next major, or even better, an already existing player on one of these teams becomes a star out of nowhere. All in all, I suggest using your coins or buying packages on teams that did well in the major like FaZe Clan, Vitality, Team Spirit, and Na'Vi that played on maps that have expensive skins in their collections like Ancient, Mirage, and Anubis, bonus points if these teams played against each other on any of these maps. Yes, a lot of people will be claiming the same packages as you based on the same logic I've been talking about, but if history repeats itself, the packages will eventually go up in value and you'll be thanking yourself for it or you can thank me for it. Leave a like on this video if it helped you make any decisions. Remember, this isn't investment advice, and feel free to check out the videos on screen to help you in your future premiere matches. GG Navi, congrats on winning the first major of CS2.